Hello again. I'm back with more progress updates on this、uh, Project Scavenger game. How how did I fumble the name so much? It's Project Scavenger. <laughs> anyway, um, I made some tweaks to the generation, and by some tweaks, I've made a lot of progress. Uh, I believe in the last video, uh. The maze was still generating in a huge.、Uh, it still has a lot of like randomness to it, but right now, <coughs> my bad.、Um, right now, it's actually kind of generating in a key and door kind of progression manner. Like it's kind of like generating a tiny Metroidvania map. Map every time. I wouldn't say that it just has like Metroidvania progression, and even then, it's just a cool way of saying it. It's basically just like it's a key and door. It's a maze that can spawn with key and door, and it always has a solution. Maybe、um, I don't know if the algorithm I wrote for this is actually、um, like that, but. Generally, if you can find something, you can use it to navigate further down into a dungeon and explore every room. And as you can see, the mini map has some small changes, even though it's just a debug feature. But it actually shows the orientations of the rooms, where its openings are, and how it connects. And、uh, there's a letter in the middle that represents its. Traversal requirements, which is a term I use to determine what kind of gizmo is needed for its traversal.、Uh, for example, the capital N means none, which just means you can traverse through it freely and it doesn't really require anything. Let me grab this rocket here.、Um, as you can see, it doesn't really require anything. You can just simply walk through it and. The、uh, non-capital letter W means it requires a wagon, which I currently don't have. And this doesn't actually、uh, generate with the wagon room because、uh, I don't actually design them for the item rooms yet. But in the next room.、Um, The letter P represents propeller, and you're supposed to be able to get a propeller before you reach this room. But、um, yeah, basically this room requires a propeller to progress. And、uh, right now I can just go through it, but let's assume I just cannot get the propeller yet. And right now we move our eyes on this room with the letter T, which. Represent the tele orb, so we can use tele orb to traverse this room. And would you look at that? We can go through it and get the propeller. And now we can go through rooms that requires a propeller. And、um, let's navigate over here. And yeah, cool. There we go. And we can traverse through it now and get hurt and be bad. And now. You can see this wagon, and、uh, we can basically use it to traverse other wagon rooms. But in this maze generation, there is only one, and it isn't it doesn't even exist. But、uh, even then, you can actually bring it back and use it if it does. If you do happen to need it, like that. Yeah, and you can get back with the propeller. So yeah, that's basically the state of the generation. Also, the prototype is going well. Yeah, now we're in a wagon room, and we have the wagon. So let's assume there's there's some kind of obstacles designed for the wagon, and we can now use it. And here's the yo-yo. Oh, by the way, I made a lot of changes to the yo-yo. As you can see, it's a lot cooler now. Like that, so fun. I love the yo-yo.、Uh, I will show more later. 
We're gonna generate another maze. So now we generate, uh, we spawn in an item room and now we walk to the left. Here is a propeller, the game gives us a propeller and we can now progress to the left or the top. There's more batteries there and now we get a rocket which there just so happen to be a rocket room above us so we can use that to traverse the next room. And yeah, now we are faced with uh, a tele oak room to the right, left, and top. Basically, every single one is a terrible. Now, uh, we can we cannot carry that much items. We can only carry two. So, but I think the but I made it so the algorithm accounts for that. So you don't have to carry everything. So past this point, there will be no more like propeller rooms generating because uh, we already had a terrible orb and a rocket so yeah we can get this and traverse here and boom the turtle orb is a weird item to make so now here is a wagon but the rooms don't generate further than this so it's not actually needed anywhere else so yeah I'm just kind of showcasing do a better showcase of the maze generation concept that I uh, rambled about last week but didn't have anything to show off. I kind of just yap a lot in that video. So the terror warp actually changed a lot since the last time I made it but basically now you can press down to terror orb where they will use to the terror orb instead of it teleports wherever it lands automatically so yeah it also uh, drains power based on how far you teleport, teleport. so yeah here's an item room containing absolutely nothing now we can travel back and <clears throat> okay that was stupid so yeah this is a small maze uh, I can actually configure a bigger maze, but right now uh, I don't have to, but usually you can see that the maze can generate um, for around 10 to 20 to 30, I forgot what the proper range is, but this is considered a small range, small maze, and I actually want the game to have it so you can go mo navigate through multiple mazes. So I don't actually know what's the proper size. Um, I have generated big ones before, but it feels uh, kind of overwhelming to go through all, try to explore the entire thing. So I try to make it smaller so it's easier to test and not so overwhelming. But yeah, here's here's a wagon room. Mm. You can, if you have a rocket, this is actually also doable or tell old, but this is one, this is this is a room design for the wagon. So I actually had to do more balancing. I don't actually want it to be like if you have this room, you have to use the gizmo design for it. I'm actually kind of uh, happy that the players can get kind of creative with what they want to do. Right, for example, you can just get get a get any stackable up grabable object and then use it as a platform. And if it works, it works alright. That's the fun of it. And your only objective is to uh, scavenge and recover energy for your ship, so here's that. Usual smash rock here, uh I did some yakking with a yo-yo but I figured I should leave this part in uh, a little bit earlier so basically I want to explain how I made this and the difficulties that comes with this so as you can already tell this is generating in a grid manner the maze and to have it be in this kind of way but also having to design platforming challenges around it is very difficult as you can probably tell because uh, as you can see, the entrance and the exits are always at the same place, and it's not that I cannot change that, it's more like 
it takes more effort. Like with the way it's generating already, uh, there's already 15 kind of orientation. If we don't count the completely enclosed room, and now we want if we want the entrance to generate a different place, there could be some platforming challenges designed around it that gets affected and. I don't know how to overcome that, so it's one of the problems that comes with it. I have very limited space as you can tell, so some challenges just don't, they don't, ro they don't work that well, let's just say that. Uh, typically, usually with the Terror Room, this one isn't that apparent, but when it comes to making a full, di full directional room, like a four-way room, uh, that's easy become more problematic because, like, um, if you consider this, you the way it's generating right now is always a two-way room, like, right? You don't you don't usually get soft lock unless you lost your gizmo along the way. You can always it's designed it, it it's designed so you can always get back. If you traverse it in any way but if I want to uh, make it so it's one way uh, the amount of rooms I have to design for is gonna get tripled or quadrupled <laughs> so that's why it's designed the way it is so as you can see this is a teleop room I can go to here this is uh, some grace that only items can pass through and here you can also go back by using a tail orb through here like that and you can go back so yeah so one of the challenges is that you have to i have to design the challenges so that the entrance the the, the place you start and the place you end is had to be exactly at a specific place and not only that, when there's many entrances and exits, I have to compensate for that. Like I have to design it so it can work around four entrances. And within this narrow space, it's really hard to design that. So, there's a chance that I'm doing this. Uh, maybe there's a better way to do this. Like, uh, I'm already thinking that if I try to make it more like, I don't know, the NAS Metroid. It would be easier to design, but I don't know. I can maybe use or the already existing existing rooms. God, English is hard. Um, I can probably use the existing rooms to make that, but I don't know. I'm currently just prototyping right now, so maybe not. I should focusing on making finishing everything. Here's another rocket room, but yeah. That's basically most uh, difficulty that comes with making this. It's basically just that, that it's too narrow. And uh, it's not guaranteed that if I change the formula a bit, this problem is gonna get resolved. And the thing is, uh, some gizmos have, are harder to, to design rooms around at different kind of rooms orientation but I also want them to generate an equal uh, equal chance uh, so to speak so I also just clear a rocking room with a propeller so let's go um, so now I want to actually uh, show off the yo-yo I'm actually in the process of designing the yo-yo rooms that before it but uh, I didn't realize how useless the yo-yo was because before this it actually just this and you can swing it around I guess and make a swinging platform if you so wish to like that you can it's already cool enough but I made some changes to it you can now make it stay uh, like that it drains power but uh, you cannot change where it uh, try to go but still a lot cooler and I also made these switches so you can leave it there and go through a door or something so there's that and 
yeah. Oh, and another cool thing you can do in the yo-yo is this. So, you can just... Yeah. It's like a grappling hook. It's a grappling hook again. And speaking of... Speaking of grappling hook, here's the actual grappling hook, which... It kind of sucks right now. I'm considering to scrap it because of how useless it is. Because kind of... The yo-yo kind of just outshines it in every aspect. There's a lot of other gizmos that does what grappling hook can do but better, so I'm really considering to scrap it. But uh I don't know, maybe I can come up with a way to make it better just like how I did with the yo-yo, but well no, it's just uh, it's kinda mad. It's kinda mad. Anyway, this is the state that I'm in right now. Uh, I will keep making progress. I also had to finish my goddamn Python sci data science project, so maybe not. Uh, I'm not gonna make that big of a progress uh, as the previous week, but I will keep making progress. So, uh, if you're interested, uh, let me know what you think and consider. Consider, consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more of me rambling about the development progress. Anyway, as always, I was horrendous, absolutely horrendous with Ultra, so I re-recorded it. So, see ya.